so in terms of this show, I think the great thing is about it is it's just been, we've just shown this collection in New York, and so we've, it's the first time it's previewing in South Africa. signature flowing. So if you notice there was lots of liner detail that we played through but we wanted to give the girls a little bit of a, it's almost kind of a severity to their face. It was like a, a strict beauty if I could call it that. Playing into his 50s feeling that he's been kind of romancing over the last few seasons. So lots of 50s influence with a really beautiful bright punchy lip. amazing to see that we had broken a, a kind of a, a stereotype that we've had of Africa which is like known for doing things which are very flea market and kind of barter in kind of styling and you know um, and what's really amazing is that the entire collection is produced here on the African continent so for me it's refreshing as a designer not to be able to always play into stereotypes but to to break them really and break down people's perception of what Africa is and what's really capable of doing. If you want to go large and do something spectacular and be noticed in a Gavin Raja frock, you've got it right. So it really added a lot of heart to the models, but it was quite a sophisticated, strong look. collection, uh, classy, elegant and everything. I'm a big fan and, um, and you know, he's consistently good, which is fantastic. Gavin, I think, is one of the most celebrated designers in the country and I think for very good reason. He always brings drama and there's, there's a sense of luxury um, and I think just utter feminism that people really get I think enamored with, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a wonderful thing to see and to experience. Gavin Raja is, he's always amazing to work with. There's a sophistication that comes with Gavin that we always try to uphold. 